something I had never considered before that I think is worthy of consideration. So this pop-up appears, it says one ten percent off. And one of the things that I never do is I never sign up for a discount or give up my email just because I know that I'm going to be bombarded with with a bunch of emails. I, I know what I know what the trade-off is, right? But I'm not the only one. And marketers aren't the only ones that know this either. I think consumers have become very sophisticated now. And they know that this is this is the this is the this is the the game that's going to be played. And for a lot of types of buyers, getting lots of emails. Now again, it depends on where you are in the spectrum. There are some people that that say, well, it's a minor irritant. I can always unsubscribe and whatever. There are other people that are more cynical, who are who are thinking that a I might get a ton of emails that I don't you know and my my time is valuable to me, but b they might even say that, you know, they're going to make unsubscribing very, very hard. Or maybe there's no way to even do it. And maybe these guys are, you know, unscrupulous and they'll keep on sending me emails even if I unsubscribe. And so all of these negative thoughts are floating in my head. Now, the thing is that I'm going to, because of those negative thoughts, I'm going to get rid of this discount. I'm going to get rid of the pop-up. But I also can't avoid the fact that now I'm paying a 10% premium because I have a skepticism about what marketers do. And I'm wondering, and here's a thought experiment for the morning, is that could this kind of an offer actually be hurting conversion rates? Because people are now stuck between two bad options. They don't want to give their email, but then at the same time, they recognize that that because they're not giving their email, they're paying a price premium and they don't want that either. What do you think?